so welcome you all today we will see the cfd analysis of multiple turn pulsating heat pipe so the objective is to prepare the geometry of multiple turn pulsating heat pipe there are six turns this geometry is prepared with the help of design modeler the second thing to prepare mesh and apply the boundary condition third one to observe the color contours of liquid volume fraction as well as wall temperature observing the cfd analysis of multiple turn pulsating heat pipe so this is the geometry of pulsating heat pipe so i will open this in design modeler so 1 uh, 2 3 4 5 and 6 there are total number of 6 turns which are been available so we are trying to do the analysis on the same so this is the portion which contains the working fluid which we are having and this is the portion which is not filled with the fluid or not filled with the working fluid so out of which the condenser region will be this one the surface area and condenser is greater than your evaporator section so as to have maximum possible heat transfer uh, from the liquid vapor slug to the other fluid which will be available in the condenser tank so this is how uh, the first thing is been done now uh, we say the geometry has been divided in such a way that uh, we have a suitable filling ratio so accordingly you can divide the geometry i have divided the geometry here so according which the fluid ratio will be decided so you can easily calculate the volume of the fluid which has been filled and further analysis is can be done now next part is related to your meshing so a mesh has been generated with the name selection has been done heater and your condenser so this is also been specified and later on the analysis has been uh, carried out so we have selected the uh, number of time step then this was the simulation which has been obtained so let's play back this simulation so as to visualize how the things has proceeded as of now so you can see the fluid has been flowing so you can see the circulation of fluid flow which has been taking place in this so again we can see how the fluid flow is been taking place from evaporator section to the condenser section so till now it has been uh, the simulation has run for around a uh, 9000 time step so we are proceeding this further so that we will be able to, in position to visualize the liquid and vapor slug which is moving towards the evaporator condenser section from the evaporator section and the evaporation and condensation process will be visualized uh, during the simulation so again we are starting the simulation over here so i will specify here say a new value say for example four thousand so let's start this once this window has open you can close your design modeler window so you can see the iteration process has started <coughs> so residuals can also be observed on your screen so the contours of uh, volume fraction water that uh, we have used the water as a working fluid so accordingly we will go on to proceed so the simulation is almost going on to complete up to 13000 uh, time steps <coughs> we'll check it out how the flow patterns are been there so till the time you are not observing the evaporation condensation till the time you can run the simulation it is up to right now it is up to i think uh, 13000 you may extend it to higher value so as to visualize in better way how the liquid and vapor slug behaves when it is enters into the condenser section and uh, whether the process of condensation is taking place when the fluid 
after rejecting heat uh, returns back towards the evaporator section so these things can be visualized so uh, seven time steps are remaining and then we'll run the animation to check out how the fluid flows are been taking place so last time uh, it was set to 4000 number of time steps so it, ha it has taken somewhere around uh, 7 to 8 hours to complete uh, this process so four time steps are remaining you can see the residual also here so three time steps are running so 12,998 time steps we are run so this will be the last uh, time step which is your left and we'll try to run the simulation uh, before proceeding we'll try we'll save this work so that uh, if any problems are there uh, maybe power fail or other thing so that can be easily avoided so first once this has been completed you can see this is 30,000 uh, 13,000 time steps that has been completed as of now so you may want to run it for more uh, so first of all let's save the work by going to the workbench window it can take time because depending on how many number of time step and configuration of computer sometimes it takes time so ensure that you are properly saving the work so that it can be accessed later on so let's go to the playback option available now these are the total 9000 time steps which are been available for us for visualizing the simulation uh, if you turn off your computer or if you switch off uh, you or close the window of fluent and other thing so in that case uh, the sim number of time steps which are been done uh, will not be available so that has to be observed through a post processor so let's play it you can see how the liquid uh, slug it is moving uh, throughout the length of the tube so we have a particular flow pattern which has been obtained over here so these are up to 9000 time step we are run the simulation so we have run the simulation for around uh, 37000 uh, time save now we'll proceed with the last part that is related to your uh, visualizing the result in uh, the post processor so we'll just click on the result available here so once this window has been open uh, you have to check out uh, for the object which has been available so it is taking time to load the object so now this is, has been prepared uh, initially what we are able to see is just the circles the object is not uh, completely visible yet so what to be done so just click on uh, the respective portion checkbox over here so this is the portion which is getting uh, visible then simply go for wall air over here the remaining part has actually been there next is uh, heater so this is the bottom most part and last one it is your wall liquid so likewise the whole geometry is uh, now it is visible slightly align the geometry uh, with respect to whatever the screen we are having okay so this is how the first thing which has been done now next thing is that uh, right now the object uh, whatever the geometry we are having it is uh, not a transfer element because we are interested in fluid flow simulation uh, the fluid which is flowing through this particular arrangement so that's why we need to make this at a transparency so render uh, you can say transparency over here i will specify 0.95 let's make it apply you will see uh, the part of that is uh, visible same thing we have to apply for the other so say wall layer i will specify transparency say for example 0.95 now you can see this part also has become there uh, next thing uh, related to your heater so say specify 0.95 make it apply and last one wall liquid again it should be 0.95 and make it apply so likewise now uh, each and everything will be visible in the form of 
uh, with a transparency. Now, next thing will be to select to observe this with the help of fluid zone. So, so we are to select the volume rendering which is available. Now, once this volume rendering, the option will be available. Okay, so first of all, uh, what we want to visualize, say for example, I want to visualize the water volume fraction. So you select the water volume fraction, make it apply. Once you make it apply, the changes will appear uh, on the screen. Uh, you will be able to see the fluid uh, flow which is there. So we had a legend which has been available here. At the same time, we are able to see the liquid and vapor slux which are been moving through the, uh, we can say, tube. Now, uh, this is how the things are been specified. Now, just check it out. Uh, we can have this, uh, some changes if it is required, it can be made over here. Now, next thing is uh, we have this particular range which is, uh, we are interested in water volume fraction. So, water volume fraction will vary from 0 to 1. Accordingly, this legend can also be specified. So, if you click on this legend, uh, you can change the location of the legend like it is left and top. I may take it as left and center. So, let's see this has been coming over here. Now, apart from that, we can uh, make some slight changes also in terms of whether you want this as a, uh, we can say, of different uh, visualization. So, I let's say fix. If I select fix, you can see it is 0 to 1. Uh, you can increase the number of points which are been available. Say for example, value tricks, uh, I can take it 11 so that it will be each and everything will be visible like say 0, 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 2, so let's say 1. So this can be easily done. Apart from that, you can change the size also. Say if I reach to this one, uh, let's check how this has been there. Uh, at the same time, you can slightly reduce the aspect uh, over here. So it can be better visualized uh, with respect to the uh, diagram. So this is how uh, the, the legends that can be specified. And finally, you can, uh, we can say, run the simulation uh, also to visualize, to save the video file as well as to save the image file. Now, uh, next thing is uh, you can go to your text option, which has been available. Okay, so in this case, uh, we can have, say for example, we have time uh, value. If I take appearance, I can make it uh, where I want. Say for example, left and bottom. You can make it left bottom. The time value will be available here. At the same time, if somebody wants to uh, have the date and time which is available, so that can also be added over here. So make it uh, over here. So I will take a file date. Uh, location will take it left and say for example top you can have this available here so likewise uh, the things can be uh, we can say added because this gives you the whole information about the whatever the simulation which we are going to run at the same time say I will add go on to add time step which is available again it has to be done uh, through this one uh, location you can check out like if I get center and uh, Okay, let's check it out where it is. Uh, if I take center, top, whether it is properly visible. Okay, now it is slightly over here. So you may slightly reduce the, or uh, zoom out for this particular end so as to visualize this in the better way. You may slightly zoom out also. So time step has been available. Now next thing is uh, we can have is Okay, so I will write this as a file name. So I can have this as a Okay, so CFD analysis of multiple turn pulsating heat pipe. Uh, location I will just specify. Say so at the right and I will say at the bottom. Just check it out how it is been there. So likewise, the useful information on your simulation that can be added over here. So let's have this one. Uh, let's specify the location. I just want to say at right and 
uh, center. Just check it out. It will be available here. So likewise, a useful information that can be easily added. Uh, this is the first part. Now next thing is we want to uh, save the simulation over here. So right now we have 35,485 time steps which have been available. Now uh, you need to select an option which is called a save movie. So save a particular place, say as far as in the document you may have with the help of a separate folder, say multiple turn, full setting heat pipe. You may specify this name also here. By default, it is showing triple F. Okay, so make it uh, save. Now, this is a location where the simulation will be saved. Uh, now, you can change the, uh, we can say, the quality of simulation. First one we can uh, have here, it is, you can say, HD. 1080p uh, that is the finest resolution uh, uh, which we can take you can go with the advanced option uh, where you can save this uh, image file to the particular directory which we have prepared so whatever the folder which i have prepared earlier on the same folder i will go on to choose this so uh, there the it will be saved as an image file also and as a video file so number of frame rates i am taking 60 and the quality i am taking it to highest value so this can also be customized uh, uh, if you go with uh, this particular option image size you can customize also so i have taken this is hd video 1080p you can customize it also so these are the things which is very important as far as the visualizing the simulation has been concerned so let's make it okay now when you click on to the play button uh, which has been available here whatever the respective folder which we have generated say for example here document I have this is multiple turn pulsating heat pipe right now there is nothing in this folder i will just try to uh, go here so click on this particular play button and we'll just visualize how uh, things are there so this is this uh, just has been started you can just visualize uh, at initial time step of 20 you will be having the liquid which has been present in the uh, below part so likewise uh, it will be available at the below part and it will advance towards the evaporator section uh, in the form of alternate and liquid warm vapor slug now we can just go back to your the folder uh, you can see here the, the this has been started to uh, be there like the image file which has been uh, coming over here so you have seen this is 20 so likewise this process will be continued till the you have completed uh, around uh, Okay, we are till the time you have completed around 35,000 of iterations, so, uh, sorry, time steps. So that uh, number of uh, images will be available, as well as at the end, you will be getting a video simulation file over here. So this is how the simulation uh, that can be uh, set in the post processor. So we'll have to wait because this will take some time. Uh, just now it is just only 120 time steps, so we might uh, we are reaching to somewhere around 35,485 so it can take some uh, maybe uh, some five to six hours uh, depending on the configuration of your computer uh, so uh, sometimes it can take more than 24 hours also so accordingly uh, we have to set this so that uh, the process will get completed so we'll just check it out how much time uh, it will require say somewhere around is 180 so I guess it may require somewhere around five to six hours minimum five to six hour for uh, we can say saving all the uh, files in terms of images you can see this uh, goes on advancing uh, as soon as the time steps have been there you will see even more uh, images are being coming over here so this is how uh, the simulation that uh, can be uh, we can say visualize so it is around 220 you may check it uh, over here also